Okay, how's it going everybody? So we're going to read another Lennon letter today. This was written to his mother. So let's go ahead and get into this. So it says, V.I. Lennon, 1893, to his mother, written in October 5th, 1893. Let's go ahead and get into it. October 5th. Yesterday, Mother Dearest, I received your letter of October the 2nd. At long last, I have found myself a good room, or so it seems. There are no other lodgers, and the landlady has a small family. The door between my room and their drawing room is papered over, so the sound so that sounds are faint. The room is clean and light. There is a good entrance. Since in addition, it is not far from the center, only some 15 minutes walk from the library. I am quite, I am quite satisfied. I saw Tillo yesterday and today. He did not get the ticket and unfortunately cannot get it because the person he was counting on is not here. Incidentally, he says that when his own position in the Provisional Railway Administration is more secure, perhaps he will be able to. That, it seems, will not be soon. I went to Volkov Cemetery soon after my arrival. Everything, the cross and wreath, is intact. Your loving, Vladimir Ulyanov. And then it says here below, Please send me some money. Mine is nearly at an end. I have not been informed from Samara that the fee for the Gravov case, the Kazan case, that I conducted in Samara has been promised for November. That will give me 70 rubles if the promise is fulfilled. And what chance there is of that, I don't know. I have been promised a job in a consulting lawyer's office here. But when that will be, but when that will be arranged and whether it will be arranged, I do not know. Write and tell me about the state of your finances. Did you get anything from Auntie? Did you get the September rent from the Krushvitz? Is there much left of the deposit, 500 rubles, after moving and settling down? I am now, for the first time in St. Petersburg, keeping a cash book to see how much I actually spend. It turned out that for the month of August the 28th to September 27th, I spent together I spent altogether 54 rubles, 30 kopecks, not including payment for things about 10 rubles, and expenses for a court case, also about 10 rubles, which I shall probably conduct. It is true that part of this 54 rubles was spent on things that do not have to be brought every month, galoshes, clothes, books, and and a Bacchus, etc. But even discounting that, 16 rubles, the expenditure is still excessive, 38 rubles in a month. Obviously, I have not been living carefully. In one month, I have spent a ruble and 36 kopecks on the horse, horse trams, for instance. When I get used to the place, I shall probably spend less. Notes number one I shall have to pay 10 rubles when I am appointed assistant, which should be soon. Lenin. So, number two. Uyanova Maria Alexandrovna, 1835-1916, mother of Vladimir Ilyich Lenin, daughter of A.D. Blank, a doctor who held advanced views, a well-educated woman. She spoke several languages and was an accomplished musician. Study at home enabled her to qualify as a school teacher in 1863. She possessed rare talents as an educationalist and devoted herself entirely to her family and children. Having a strong character and a great willpower, she shared her children's ideas and brought them up to be honest, industrious, and sympathetic towards the needs of the people. She was a warm supporter of her children in their revolutionary struggle and endured the misfortunes that came upon her family with courage and fortitude. Her children's attitude to her was one of love and affection, and Lenin always displayed exceptional consideration for her. She is buried in Volkov Cemetery in Leningrad. Number three. One of Lenin's young, younger sisters, Olga Ilyinicha Ulyanova, 1871 through 1891, is buried in Volkov Cemetery, Leningrad. She was a talented and industrious girl with a strong character. In 1887, she graduated from secondary school with a gold medal and entered the higher courses for women, Bustashevs Bust in St. Petersburg. She died of enteric at the age of 19. Number four, the money referred to is what Lenin's mother should have received from Koku, Kokushkino and Ala, Alakayevka. Kush, Kokushkino, a village 40 verse from Kazan, in which A.D. Blank, Lenin's maternal grandfather, owned some land, a house, and a separate cottage. When he died, this property was inherited by his daughters, and Lenin's mother's share was under the control of her sister, Aya Ponomaryova. Lenin was exiled to the village of Kokush, Kokushkino for his participation in the student, student desert disturbances in December 1887. The cottage in which Lenin lived during his exile has been restored and is now a Lenin museum. Alakayevka, 
a village some 40 versts from Samara, now Kuibishev, near which Lenin's mother acquired a farmhouse. The Uyana family lived there every summer from 1889 to 1893, when the family moved to Moscow from Samara to the farmhouse. It was rented to the Krushvitz, mentioned by Lenin in his letter. Okay, yeah, so that's his uh, first mother, or that's his first le letter to his mother, written in October 5th, 1893. So yeah, well, thank y'all for tuning in. You know, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, Tumblr, Medium, all of these are Marxists. So y'all hit me up there. Y'all have a great day, and the data going.